Welcome to Joburg today. I'm Lebekang Makutu bringing you the ins and outs of this beautiful city. From being a Grammy Award winner to being nominated at the Mamas, I had a wonderful interview with Mohombi. It's hard to see forever. It's like we're walking in the dark. But we can make it through whatever. If we follow our hearts. Who is Mohombi, in a nutshell? Mohombi is probably uh, the, the most spontaneous guy you would ever meet. Uh, I'm taller than I, people think I am. Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm a very happy uh, dad. You know, besides being an artist, I'm, I, I am also trying to be a good father. Oh, wow. And uh, Mohombi is somebody who's uh, using music to actually uh, change the world. So how do you juggle everything? I mean, you're a family man, you, are, you, you literally cater for almost every genre of music. How do you handle all of it? How do you work around it? I think it's just passion. And uh, instead of hitting the after party, you know, I, I might sometimes just go to the studio and make my own little party and work at the same <laughs> time. Or uh, I work all the time. We work in the car, in the taxi, on the airplanes. And, uh, you know, when J-Lo calls me for a song or for some melodies, I, you know, you got to deliver. Or Akon or Enrique Iglesias, because I'm also a songwriter. Besides being an artist, I write a lot of music. I spend a lot of time in the studio. I don't know how I make it happen, but for some mysterious and, you know, magical way, this is working. <laughs> some Thank God way. for that. <laughs> Speaking of Joburg, what are one of your most favorite spots about Johannesburg and what actually brought you to Joburg? Well, uh, I came, uh, first of all, Joburg is a beautiful city. Uh, I've spent a lot of time in the, the Mandela Square uh, yes. this, this weekend, and it's definitely like a very charming and nice place to stay at and relax and some good food and stuff. Uh, what brings me to Joburg is uh, actually uh, music. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was at the Mamas this weekend. Yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, I presented two awards, Best Hip Hop and Best Breakthrough. I'm lucky I didn't get shot for the hip hop one because it's pretty <laughs> controversial, right? But hey, to, to be nominated is like a victory. Mm, mm. I mean, how's the whole venture from being a Grammy Award winner? Because it's not just a small title, it's a massive title. When you put it like that, it's, it's, a, it's, like, it's huge, right? And, and I mean, for me, I think it's just a, a, an acknowledgement that I'm doing the right thing and I should just keep on focusing on, on doing what I do what I do best, which is music, which is songwriting. And that, that Grammy that I share with Pitbull uh, for the work that I did on his album and the songwriting that we did and the songs we sing together. He's a really good friend of mine. Um, so it was a really cool experience to be an African representing Africa mm. and opening a door and saying, guys, my fellow African musicians, this is the Grammys. Wow, so fantastic. Now, what are you currently working on? And who should we kind of expect to see you with? Well, I, I'm working on a lot of different things. I got Lumino, who's a, an upcoming artist who I, I, I support. Uh, we just dropped a video. You guys should check it out. It's called Rocco Nolo. It's on, it's on YouTube. Like, it dropped two days ago. Oh, nice. uh, Lumino featuring Mohombi. And uh, I'm also working on an African album. Uh, where I have my boys, I, I got like a diamond is on board. I got uh, I got BB Cool from 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 uh, from Uganda. I got uh, uh, some South African. I don't want to name all of them, you know, because we're still wor working. You to be surprised for but I, what I wanted to say is that I'm trying to unite African artists and music because I feel like okay, for many years I've been an ambassador for African music all around the world, mm. from Tokyo to Alaska, from Stockholm to Joburg, and I feel like okay, guys. Africa is the next big thing, musically and, and overall, I would say. Uh, so uh, I, I want to I wanna show the world what we're about. on our social media platforms. On Twitter, it's at Joburg Today and Facebook, it's joburgtoday.tv. Breaking the world record for the longest DJ set ever. And finally embracing Joburg with his presence, Leroy had a one-on-one -on -one with DJ Obi. 
DJ Obi, welcome to the show. It's a privilege to have you here. Thank you very much, man. Thank you so much. Now, man, for those who don't know who you are, why don't you share with us a bit of a bit about yourself? Um, I'm DJ Obi, uh, based in Nigeria, and uh, currently the world record holder for longest DJ set. I played uh, 230 hours nonstop, <laughs> nonstop, no sleep. Um, I am affiliated with Syndicate Records, which is a record label to Lynx, Nadu, and Blink. Um, Currently in SA, just you know, doing a lot of gigs and uh, feeling out the vibe. It's now, good. I mean, aside from actually, you know, being a world record holder, <laughs> um, you've done some amazing work with guys like Lupe Fiasco, Two Face, just to name but a few. Yep. But you also got the opportunity to actually meet your role model, and that was Diddy. Sean <laughs> Puffy Combs, aka take Diddy. that, take that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, that's got to be mind blowing. But I mean, what was it like for you, and has it influenced your your? your it definitely music? has influenced like my whole DJ career, because, you know, someone like that just, all he does is motivate you, you know, and inspire you to be as great or even greater than he is. So meeting him was a privilege, you know, in different platforms, different times, concerts or DJ conferences and stuff like that. So, you know, the messages we, you know, the one-on-one -on -one interaction was pretty quick, but at the end of the day, I left with message and, and a good, like, good advice and motivation to be great. So it was always a great opportunity to, to meet him, you know, or to witness him perform, you know, see him backstage, all that kind of stuff. It was really cool. Now, speaking of performances, you've been here for a couple of uh, days in South Africa. Like a, like a week now, so far. Pretty much, actually, yeah, a week right now. <laughs> Today's a week. Yeah. So how's that experience? It's been great, man. I love it. The vibe out here is really good. Like, it just challenges you to be creative, you know, musically especially. You know, you guys have very good sound. and. Um, South Africans are music lovers, so it's always good to play for people like that because they enjoy music and they enjoy a good set and good music. So, you know, if you're a good DJ, you won't have a problem in SA. So does this mean that you're going to be collaborating with a few of the local artists? Well, I plan on doing that maybe next year, you know, looking into the music, trying to see who can who I can work with out here, but definitely in, in the works. Now, talking about uh, looking forward, looking ahead, I mean, what, what game plan do you have? I mean, honestly, we're still on the on the on the quest for global domination. <laughs> I have to say, you know, just really trying to become a household name, but worldwide, you know, trying to bring my own piece of Africa to the rest of the world, you know. So that's really what the game plan is: through music, through DJing, and the entertainment. Hi, I'm Danny Glover, and you're watching. Joburg today. That's it for today's show. For more, check out our playlist from myself, Lebakang Makudu, and the Joburg Today team. Adios.